15 love. Love. A very confident start by Volanda, two first serves in. So Bolanda holds the long long serve. Bolanda leads one love, first set. Position of the sun at the moment could cause them a few problems. But only serving from the clubhouse end. Lendl doing that right now. 15 love. First service of Lendl at ace. All. It's mixing it up, isn't it? A couple of baseline rallies on the Landers opening service, and I think we'll probably see a few games uh, decided with baseline tactics in this match. Both these players aren't at their most confident on the grass. 30-15. Well, the Lander just having a look at the line and then the linesman. Both have expressed the opinion that the grass isn't their favourite surface. So to get through to the final here, you'd have to say that's a fine effort. There was some muscle in that. Forty fifteen. Well, it took Lendl a long time to win this point, but he does it with the forehand, which is one of the strengths of his game. I think that's what he's got to look for. He just can't rally and hope for an error. He's got to try and set the point up. If he's not going to serve volley, then he's going to have to try and win the point with that forehand of his. steadying the lander on that occasion. It could be a long match, Alan. <laughs> could be. Well, I don't think uh, really, though, that Ivan Lendl will win it if he stays back all the time. Six. 
Anglican service. Fifteen. Well, neither player showing any real inclination to attack the net. There was a couple of short balls in that rally. And Lendl showing that uh, he's just as comfortable at the baseline. Fifteen all. on the second serve has been most reluctant to come to the net. Fifteen. That's Matt's Matt Valander's best serve. It's the one we've noticed that he goes with when he's in a bit of trouble. Swing it down the centre, not second court. Sensational rally. <laughs> well, we saw it all in that rally. Smashes, drop shots, using all the court. 40-30. Two games to one. 
Quiet, please. And so it's Lendl to serve. Lendl down 1-2. The opening set, three very long games. Oh. Well, a confident call by the linesman. Help. Fifteen low. So far, it's the Swede who uh, is the keener of the two players to get to the net. Oh. Lendl with more power in the first serve. Gee, you've got to be a bit careful about how you approach the net when you play Mads Belander. Backhand of his really is sensational. I heard you say in your pre-match comments, Alan, that it's one of the best in the world. A few people would argue from what we've seen today. Chastising himself for that uh, low percentage shot there, just bringing the lander into the net. Slips there, yep. recovers, and a beautiful off forehand. Tremendous power and topspin on that shot. It's Lendl's favourite shot. 1 2 30 all, first set. So the first break point of the match. It's yes, always a very vital stage in any big match, any final. Sometimes the key to the whole match is the person who hits that initial breakthrough. Lindell missing, missing with the first serve in this game. Land 
leads three games to one. He came in with an interesting set. tactic there, Alan, coming in off the second serve because, he's, uh, like Volander, he's been reluctant to do it. Yes, just, I think, trying to uh, surprise him there. He hadn't served volleyed much. And as you said, on the second serve at uh, game point, I think he was banking on the element of surprise to draw an error. But he would get very few unforced er errors from Mats Volander. 3-1. it seems that perhaps the tactic of trying to outplay Volanda from the baseline might not be successful for Lendl. Love 30. Well, that's what I think he's got to do. Uh, Notice that Volander does stay back a lot on the second serve. I think Lendl should really be trying to step around and be aggressive with his forehand. Really try and punish that second service of Volander. Try and finish the points just a little earlier. I think we could just about put that down as a nice. Volander taking up the attack then. I think he's pretty much going to serve volley most of the times if he gets that first serve in. Oh. 40-30. And three good serves from Mats from Love 30 down. Lendl is down 1-4. First set. Love 15. It's a danger uh, situation now for Ivan Lendl. 1 4 Love 30. I think he drops this game. It's a uh, good night to the first set. And all of a sudden, the points are uh, passing fairly quickly after those first three games. Very long rallies there. Gee, that wasn't out by much, was it? <laughs> 15 40. Well, two 
Turn of serve winners in this game off the backhand by Valanda. Just too much power there. Rolanda was there, he'd anticipated, but even he couldn't handle that powerful shot. Lindor still down a break point. Oh. Certainly some shoulder behind that serve. Oh. Game, Rolanda. leads five games to one first set. Lindell becoming a little bit frustrated now, isn't yes, he? Yes, just a little impatient in the last, uh, particularly that game there. Rushed a few of the shots. And after a very tight opening to this match, that's Belanda now uh, very well placed in this first set. Serving at 5-1. And he does well to remain in this point here. Great lunge volley there and quickly recovers. Lendl not doing enough with that backhand. Thirty low. So the sweet two points from the first set. Lendl chipping and charging in, but again gets past. Set to love. 27 minutes the first set took. The first three games were marathon affairs. Lendl serving first game of the second now. Ah. Miss it. Love 15. And Ivan Lendl, I think, needs to try and get a little bit more help from his service. He's got such a big first serve. He just needs a few more of those in. Although I do think he needs to modify his serve slightly for it to be its most effective on grass. his ball toss Alan? yes I think he needs to perhaps have a little uh, lower ball toss and uh, position it a little further out in front so that he can get a good jump forward ready to go into the net to serve volley at the moment he has rather a high toss and uh, a low percentage of first serves in two 30 Yes, it's not windy today, but were it windy, he could be in a few problems, perhaps, in that regard, couldn't he? Hmm. I remember back in 76 when Edmondson played Newcomb in the final, we had uh, a real windstorm. Wind conditions very difficult for the players.
30 all. Well, really a vital game for uh, Van Lendl. He's dropped his last two serves. Got to put that out of his mind and get off to a good start in the second set. Belander has reeled off the last five games on the trot after it was one all in the first. played McEnroe. John McEnroe's service also went off midway through the second set, I think it was. Bullanda was certainly able to take hold of the match then. Lindle in the same predicament. Lendl leads one game to love, second set. We're in the second set. Blander to serve for the first time in this set. All right, thank you. He trails love one. It's a view from our Clark Mobile crane in the Northern Stand car park. Great panorama. the end a little lucky to win that point uh, the lander going for the wrong footing shot if I, Ivan Lendl hadn't moved straight back to him but he missed the forehand smart to the lander one game all. New balls, please. Miss hit returned very high, and the lander not trying to hit an outright winner with the overhead, just spun it back deep, got back quickly on top of the net, and put away the shot at the next shot. Well, he's playing a great tactical game, isn't he? Yes. We've spoken at length in this tournament about Volander's match temperament. I guess if he was picking the way the match, he wanted the match to go, Alan, it would be just like it is now, because... He's winning most of the baseline rallies, and he can just about match it with power against uh, the big serving check. New balls, one all, second set. in a lot of the baseline rallies Lendl is chipping the ball off his backhand and he's aiming it just around the service line he wants doesn't want to hit it too deep he wants to try and keep it short and fairly low that's a shot that gives two-handed players trouble Out. 30 low. Forty 
long. Good disguise on that drop shot from the number one seed. It's about his best service game of the match. And to date it is, certainly. And he wins it with an ace. Lendl leads two games to one, second set. Long. A long rally there, and Lendl again slicing the ball short cross court to the backhand. But uh, Valander's coming up with the answer every time he does that instead of having to play that awkward two handed shot off the low bounce. Valander simply uh, just plays a one handed slice back, so really got good variety off that backhand side. Lindell thought that was out, did he? 30-15. He sort of propped when yes, he slipped. To make that shot. He slipped on the uh, green part of the grass that hasn't been worn well behind the baseline there. About where he's standing, just flexing his left leg. That doesn't do your uh, Achilles any good. You slip like that. Valander yet to be taken to juice on his service. A real chance for Lendl now in this game. Certainly has served the better of the two players to date. 40-30. Well, that was an opportunity for Lendl. Just missing with that forehand. No doubt would have won the point at that ball just been a centimetre higher. Perfect approach. Game, Volanda. Two games all. Again, demonstrating that versatility off the backhand side. That's a shot that most two-handers have trouble with. The short ball, they still try to play the two-handed shot, but Mats Volanda takes left hand off and just simply slices it, which is the exact right shot there for grass. And Lindell's first serve still letting him down. As you saw moments ago, still quite a low percentage of first balls into play. Oh. 
Yes, called good. Fifteen low. He certainly hits that shot well, Alan, doesn't he? Yes. I think he's just got to do try a little more of this too, be a bit more aggressive, take a few more chances off his forehand. It's his best shot. I don't see him beating uh, the lander just rallying from the baseline. Lendl, in fact, started to move forward. He thought the only shot that he could possibly play would be a drop volley there. He's moving forward, but you can see where he is there, expecting the drop volley, and perfectly placed deep volley wins the point. Two all, 15 all in the second. Oh, goodness me. 15.30. Well, I think that was an unusual bounce for him to miss it by that far there. I think the ball just shot through a bit more than he'd anticipated, caught him. No way he would have missed it by uh, nearly half a metre like that, or at least. Thirty all. Well, he really needed that big first service there. And another. 40, 30. Don't think that'll please the groundsman too much. Danger game now for Lendl. Advantage Lendl. And a little lucky to get away with this. Lander not doing enough with that approach shot, hitting it straight back to Lendl and gives him the opportunity to pass. Precision shot making from the Swede. Mendel slipping again well behind the baseline. The grass, of course, is, hasn't been used back there. It's still fairly green and as such, uh, easy to slip if you're wrong footed.
advantage, Lendl. And Lendl using his big forehand there to set up the point. On the line. Yes. First service. Well, no luck there for Lendl. That was a clean ace, just catching the tape. Advantage, Lindel. Lindel able to get to the net after that miss hit from the Swede. He certainly doesn't make too many of them, Alan, does he? No, very few. Well, that was a fine ba uh, backhand from Lendl too. The ball's below the level of the net and he still hit a winner off it. Certainly a struggle. Lendl leads three games to two, second set. First service. First service a let from Belanda. Trailing 2-3, second set of this 1983 Marlborough Australian Open final. And we hope that viewers in Canada and the United States are enjoying the match as much as we are here. Uh, placing that approach shot well enough. So perhaps an opportunity here for Lendl. 3-2, yes, love 15. Bring the vital first point. Love 30. Well, this has to be his chance, Alan. Yes. It's certainly an unusual uh, type of match for the final of an Australian Open Championship on fast grass here at Kuyong. Unbelievably <laughs> unusual, isn't it? Well, I suppose, though, with two European players in the final, we should expect some rallies.
15.30. Lindell, I don't think, is too happy with the court surface. And again, that would come as no surprise to the uh, large gathering of media people here. Well, actually, I think the court has uh, been playing very well right throughout the tournament. Uh, very few bad bounces for grass. I think that's good. Oh, what's that point again? Lindell's first break points coming from it. He has two fine passing shots in this game. Oh, come on, Thirty, forty. Well, this let off for the Swede. Second serve to Lindell's forehand, and he puts it into the net. Well, yes, and you heard him tell himself to concentrate. That's really what was the matter there. Sweet really battled valiantly at the net here, lunge volleying. Game, Lendl. Lendl leads four games to two. Just set. falling over the baseline. Yeah, some great volleys there by Volander at the net to try and retrieve the position. And Lendl getting his first break of the match. Sort of feel, Alan, if he could get that first serve working a little bit better, he could really get right back into this match. As it is, it's 4-2. Usually takes some doing, just hitting an outright winner when both players are at the baseline. But I have some confidence in your shot making to do that. First service. Love 30. Well, a vital game here for Lendl. He just broke serve the previous game, the first time that he's done it in the match. Must hold his service here. But at Love 30, he's really got a lot of work to do. 
Especially if the rallies keep going as long as that. Match in progress now, just on one hour. That gets one of them back pretty quickly. 15.30. Crowd didn't like oh. it. Yes, I saw a fault. Let's take a look at it again. Oh, Even too fast on the replay for me. Yeah, the double. Fifteen forty. Well, Lendl allowing it to uh, upset his concentration. Two break back points for the Swede. And Lindell was saying, uh, what about calling that one out as well? Tremendous speed on that first serve. <laughs> two doubles and two aces in the game. Lendl leads four games to three, second set. Three, four. Solid as ever, the Swede. 15 love. Wasn't that far out, but uh, umpire Dave B was overruling or giving the call. Actually, I don't think any call was made, Alan. No. Quiet, please. Pretty hard to tell as that bounce right behind Lindell. Crowd certainly onto it. She's cool under pressure. Well, Borg had the yeah. reputation of being the ice man, but this guy's just as good in that department, isn't <laughs> yes, he? Yes, he is. And a solidly hit approach shot. The lander just calmly steps across and cracks it cross court for the winner.
30 was there, but just couldn't handle the power of that backhand from Lendl. Lander having to do a lot of work at the net in this game. He's been really stretched. So game's back on service after Lindell held a lead of four games to two. Four all, second set. Yes. Fifteen love. Perfect length on the approach shot here from Lendl. Nice and deep. And in for the forehand volley put away. Fifteen love for all. And that's for Lander showing some aggression on that Lendl second service. Hitting firmly and moving in, just trying to bluff Lendl, and it succeeded. 40, 15. Lendl would certainly like to see a few more of those go into play. He's certainly hitting it very hard, but just a little erratic, erratically. Oh. 40-30. And Belanda trying the chip and charge tactic to put Lindl under pressure. That worked. Very important point now for Ivan. Yes. I didn't 
didn't really move his feet well enough to that shot. Seemed to be there, and then all of a sudden, the ball was too far away from his uh, body. Couldn't control it. He'd probably tell you, Alan, he's frightened to move his feet on the grass court. I know he's going to say something about it in the press conference afterwards. He's been complaining about it almost since the match got underway. Advantage, well, if he loses the match, I'm sure that won't be the reason. He may say so, but it won't be the actual reason for his defeat. And here's a big point coming up. Might decide that. Break point for all. Yeah. Lindsay's already walking. Yeah. Absolutely perfect shot. Right shot at the right time for Matt Valander. Villander leads five games to four, second set. 5-4, Villander serving for the set. Love 15. Covers well here with the lob. Just look how early he hits that forehand. Right, please. Land and no chance to pick it up. Right. Second service. Service letting the lander down in this vital game. Beautifully. Had the whole court. Just took his eye off the ball. Just relaxed a little bit. The point was his. And then made the error. Well, what a disappointment for him there. He played that point so well. Powerful forehand drives. Really had the lander scampering all over the court. And then netted the volley. Stage. And then gives him a, a set point. Save a set point. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Crunch. The lander just can't get that first serve for him in this game. Lender. 
Randall taking advantage of the second one. So still a chance for Ivan. And that time getting the first serve in. Mendel just indicating that he just skied that ball and what a simple volley he gave Mats Verlander. First service. Set point again. He's won it. Okay. Two sets to love now. Games to four. Villander leads two sets to love. Well, a pretty tough assignment here, Peter, for uh, Ivan Lendl, the number one seed, to get back and win this match. It's a long way back. 15 love. Ah. <laughs> well, that's the volley that cost yep. him that last game. And many could argue the set. We'll never know. going to try the other end of the racket. <laughs> well, he had a very uh, straightforward forehand volley again there, which he mishit, allowing the lander that topspin lob opportunity. Right, please. Yes. Fifteen thirty. Belanda can sense perhaps an opportunity to uh, break serve early in this third set. You can see that maybe Lendl's a little dispirited with his volleying. And that goes wide. No mistake with that forehand volley. Game, Wendell. Wendell leads one game to love, third set. Please. So second game, third set. All right, thank you. Oh. First service of fault. Belanda leading two sets to love. Fifteen love. Love. 
That's Melander's favourite serve. Swinger to the forehand. Uses it frequently on that second court. And on the first court. <laughs> 40 low. Pretty much his favourite serve, though. We notice when he's serving to the backhand or second court here, he very rarely hits a flat serve out to the backhand side. So the world's number one ranked player not having uh, an easy afternoon here. And remember they're playing for first place on the bonus pool as well. There's a heap of money riding on this match. You can see neither player is serving. A high percentage of first serves in. Right on. I don't think Lendl would need uh, a computer to tell you that, Alan. <laughs> nah. Well, a great pick up by Verlander, but Lander really had the opportunity to win the point. He really could have put that backhand volley away. Some crowd, the parts of the crowd are encouraging him, and he's saying, well, what can I do with shots like that? But really, he should have won that point. He should have been able to put the ball away prior to that shot. <laughs> Saying, well, what can I do? He's hitting too good. I think he wanted well. to shake hands already, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> well, really, it was a fine shot, but I felt the lander uh, or Ivan Lendl could have won the point earlier there. Fifteen thirty. did well to stay in that point some good scrambling there the land had never really looked uh, balanced when he went for that smash and the first break point of the third set going to Matt's veranda Love. 
40 low. Well, that's taking full advantage of serving with the new balls in this game. Quickly to 40 love. Sort of game you're looking for when you've just broken serve in the previous game. Fault shouldn't hurt him at that stage of the game. At this stage, it's interesting to look back on how the top seeds in this tournament have fared in years past. Yoan Creek won the men's last year, of course. 15 love. In 1981, Guillermo Vilas lost in the third round to Hank Pfister. Love. He wants a few more of those, doesn't he? In 1981, Vilas lost in the quarters to Kim Warwick. He was again seated top in uh, 78 and 79, and he won both of those tournaments. Lovely backhand down the line for the winner. 15-30. Little coming over that ball beautifully. Don't have a chance to get back into this third set. He's only tempted to say final set. <laughs> 30 all. If you keep serving him like that, it will be. Lendl not picking that serve down the centre on the second court. As we've mentioned... Lander really favours that one, particularly on a big point. First service. Forty thirty. Courageous second service there from Valanda. Thirty all point. Went for it and made it. Love. Oh. Lindell 
understandably becoming a little bit frustrated with not getting that first service in. 30-15. Oh. I was slowing down the first service there, Peter, but uh, the lander had the answer, just moved forward. 40, 30. Nice game, for the game. Lander. The lander leads. Four games to three, third set. So the business end of the match now. Miranda with the break, final set, 4 3. Out. 15 lower. Forty low. A comfortable service game here for Matt's for Lander. Lander giving him a few cheap points, not getting the ball back into play at this uh, really critical stage of the match. It's hard to see Lendl really now getting back into it. Looks almost resigned to the fact that uh, he's going to lose. I guess it's an understandable reaction, Alan, when you're down two sets and a break. Well, I think you can uh, you know, just keep fighting right till the last point. You never know what could happen. So it looks as though Ivan will leave uh, Australia still without his first Grand Slam title. Game, the lander. The lander leads five games to three, third set. Very smooth. Fifteen all. Just timed it perfectly. Just clips the tape as it goes over. Thirteen fifteen. He's cracked some phenomenal returns, Milanda. Oh, really curled that ball in, didn't need a lot of topspin there and came around the side of the ball. 40-30. Really hooked that ball in. Out. Deuce. The lander would like to break serve here and finish off the match right here in this game. Take the pressure off, having to serve it out.
Wowie. Well, that brings up match point. Verlander. For Mats Verlander. Quiet, please. Quiet, please, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Well, the crowd are desperate to see Lindor stay in this match. Advantage, Verlander. Just hasn't served anywhere near well enough. Lindor and the returns have been scintillating from the Swede. Match point again. Yes. Advantage Lendl. Problems for Van Lendl has been the volley. It's really lacked confidence in it right throughout the match. Out. Advantage Verlander. For the third time, the number three seed ranked five in the world. Max Verlander has match point in the Australian Open Championship against Ivan Lendl, the world's number one. First service. <laughs> Quiet, please. Well, the chance now for Valander on a second service. And what a good second service, though. Yes. Hasn't been able to get the ball back into play on either of the three match points. Pick it up, please, Owen. Lendl. Deafening applause again for Lendl. Five games to four, third set. So if Matt wants the Australian Open Championship, he's going to have to serve it out. Who's to say that he can't? There's an expectant hush over the crowd now as Villander steps up to serve for the Australian Open Championship. Percentage tennis by Mats Verlander. First serve in, first volley deep. Not trying to hit the winner off it. He knows he's got good net position and he's happy to win it with the second or third volley. He's done that repeatedly in this match.
Betty O. Well, that could be costly. Sharp return from uh, Lendl here could put the pressure right on Villanda. Serving for the match. He's had three match points against Lendl's serve in the previous game. Lendl comes in and wins the point. What a roar from the crowd. By gee, what a tense rally that was. Wowie. 30 40. If ever he needed to make a volley, it was that one. Well, he deserved to win that point. Quiet, please. He, was Quiet, the, please. he was the aggressor. for Lindell to level up at five ball in the third set. Second serve from Villander. Oh. Yes. Well, I don't think that really was the time to go for an outright winner. He fought hard to get to break point and loses it with one shot. No need to hit that close to the line. Villander wasn't coming to the net, so a let off there. up match point again for the Swede. Advantage Villander. His fourth match point. Remember he had three against Lendl's serve in the previous game. Quiet please. Max Villander from Sweden. What an outstandingly talented player this man is. The number one and number three seeds fighting out the title. The number one and number five ranked players in the world. Ivan Lendl and Max Villander with the Swede. Max Villander successful in straight sets. Just underlining, as we said, what uh, a great champion this man is. Now to courtside and to Peter Landy. We still have of course the final of the ladies doubles to conclude the 1983 Marlborough Australian Open. But for the official, the official presentation now of the men's singles it's my pleasure to once again introduce the president of the Vaughan Tennis Association of Australia, Mr Brian Tobin. Thank you Peter. Mr Premier, the distinguished guests from the International Tennis Federation, very many distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh, I can't remember whether we've ever had a final of the Australian Open here between two players from Europe. If we did, it was a long time ago. But, uh, fellows, we've been very delighted with the way you've played during this tournament, and particularly today in the final. <laughs> It's a long time since Australians have seen uh, rallies of that skill and of that uh, length here in Australia. Uh, the president uh, of the French Association, Mr Philippe Chartrier, remarked he thought he was in the stadium at Roland Garros, seeing them play such great rallies uh, as they normally do on clay, but not here. 
and it's been an eye-opener, I think, to some of us here in Australia. Yvonne, I'm sure you'd say that you perhaps didn't play as so well today as you would like. I guess we've seen you serve better, and that makes a lot of difference to your game. But believe me, you gave us a lot of enjoyment, a lot of pleasure. And uh, you may or may not agree, but I think you're getting better on grass every time. <laughs> I want you to know that grass is just not for putting on. It's to play on, and I'm sure you'll master it. Thank you for a great final. <laughs> to Matt Spallander, we all know how well he can play on clay and on hard court, and now we know how well he can play on grass. I, I wonder, watching him, whether today he's not Sweden's answer to Bo Derek, because he certainly got 10 out of 10 today, Matt. <laughs> I would think that uh, Matt must be looming as the next player capable of winning on every surface in the world and perhaps may be our next Grand Slam winner. Certainly, we're delighted to have your name for the first time on our Australian Championship trophy. Matt, and our congratulations to you. <laughs> May I just say a few words of thanks? Our sponsors, Marlborough, have been with us now for 11 years. They've been a great contributor to the Australian Open Championships and to tennis in Australia in general, and to Mr John O'Brien, the Managing Director of Marlborough. We do sincerely thank you, John, for your company support. And as I think uh, Paul McNamee said yesterday, we hope that you will be with us for just as long as possible. The tournament, as you all know, required a lot of additional work during the first week with all the problems with weather and everything else that we had. And there are so many people who contributed to that effort to get the tournament through on time that I can't mention them all. I just want to say a very, very sincere thank you to all of you, and I'm sure you know to whom I'm referring. The particular thanks I would like to offer are to our friends from the media, television, and to you, the public, because we're striving very hard to make sure that this Australian Open keeps in the major league of tennis, up there with the other Grand Slams, and it's your support that will help us to do that, and I thank you very much for that. In thanking people, perhaps, I might just like to say one special thank you, and that was to the curator here at Kuyong and his ground staff, because just exactly a week Two weeks ago today, this court and the courts outside were four inches underwater, and the courts at the bottom were 18 inches underwater. And if anybody worked to get the tournament through, they did. And a very special thanks to those fellows. <laughs> I'd now like to ask Mr John O'Brien, Managing Director of the Marlborough Company, to step forward and present the cheques to our finalists here today. Mr O'Brien. Uh, thank you very much, Brian. Um, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Marlborough Company, I would like to thank Ivan and Matt for coming to Australia and bringing with them an exciting form of tennis, which I guess we all enjoyed together today. Thank you very much. <laughs> and it gives me great pleasure, on behalf of Marlborough, to firstly award the runners-up cheque to Ivan. And finally, for such a great exhibition of tennis, to Mats Villander, the winner. Thank you. I need you too, yes. Ivan, commiserations today as... Uh, what, what? <laughs> I'd like to echo the thoughts of Mr Tobin. Uh, we enjoyed the match and we certainly enjoyed seeing you play here in Australia, but bad luck today. Thank you. Are you going to come back and see us next time? Uh, 
some other next time. Maybe I would be very surprised if I come back next year. Well, there's always the year after, isn't there? That's right. <laughs> okay. Bad luck today. Thank we you. hope to see you in Australia again soon. Matt? Congratulations. Thank you. Your first Australian title. You've already won the French. How does it feel? Well, I think it, it feels very good. I mean, uh, no one expected me to win on grass, but neither did I, but I, I won it. So I'm happy for that. Did your improved form on grass after you were two sets to one down against Ben Testament in the opening match, uh, did your improved form uh, surprise yourself, perhaps? Well, it surprised me a lot, yeah. Um, I thought that I was maybe a little bit better than I played in the first match, but... Uh, your win here would no doubt give yourself and your Davis Cup teammates a lot of confidence for the Davis Cup in a uh, little over a week's time. Well, uh, I hope it does, and I uh, hope it scared the Australians <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Congratulations on your win. We enjoyed the match. Well Thank played. You. Thank you. Yes, Brian, there are a couple of other things, aren't there? There is the special medallion, which uh, we might hold up to the crowd, and maybe we can get a shot of it on television. Uh, this goes to the singles winner. Uh, it is sterling silver. And there is also another trophy, and I'd like to introduce the president of the Victorian Tennis Association, Dr John Fraser, who will make that, uh, along with the Australian Open this year, goes the Victorian singles title. Now, where's, where's John? There's, uh, you're going to do that for him, are you, Brian? No, uh, Peter, thank you. We've got so many trophies here today. <laughs> this is the Australian Championship trophy, which we haven't given a match. Sir, so Norman, uh, Sir Norman Brooks, Brooks trophy. As I mentioned, there is another trophy that goes with the Australian singles crown and uh, incorporated in the tournament this year the Victorian Open and Dr. John Fraser. John, would you like to present that to Matt? And there are some great names on that too. Well done, Matt. A great winner.